Okay, we've left ourselves a very brief amount of time to cover the last century or so of British literature, which is nearly an impossible task. The early part of the 20th century will get most of our attention, exploring modernists like James Joyce, T.S. Eliot, and Virginia Woolf. The middle of the century will find us exploring the Irish playwrights Samuel Beckett, W.H. Auden, and others. And the last part of the class will allow us to examine some newer voices, like Seamus Heaney and Derek Walcott. Much of the 20th century can be thought of as a move through various isms, from modernism through surrealism, post-colonialism, and eventually modern postmodernism. Our reading list is, of course, a gross oversimplification of the period, and I apologize in advance to those of you who would love to explore writers like Joe Warden, John Bateman, or even series like Harry Potter. Each year the situation gets worse, but I'm afraid we're still several years away from being able to sp split British literature into three sections, as it really deserves. If you think about it, American literature, which only goes back to the 17th century, has the same number of courses as British literature, which goes back to at least the 9th century. Say la bi, we'll do the best that we can. I look forward to reading your seminar paper at the end of this period. Hang in there, we're coming down uh, the home stretch, more or less.